we're moving the needle forward for the residents in this county, in my opinion. County commissioners voted to move forward on a large-scale project. Liz Ryan has details. At the last Board of County Commissioners meeting, Commissioner Henry Dean commented on an agenda item that he's very excited about. We had a really good discussion about a multi-million dollar water reclamation plant, which is going to basically eliminate any future pollution into the Matanzas River forever. Gordon Smith of the St. Johns County Utility Department gave a presentation about this big project. A project that will preserve our future water supply and it will also remove nutrients from the Matanzas River. This State Road 207 water reclamation project was before you about a year ago. So we're about 62% complete on scope one. And today we're here to ask for board consideration approval for scope two. It's west of 95 on 207, it's about 138 acres. It's 13 miles of pipe. Our goal is to take the wastewater from the southern part of the county, the US-1 corridor around Watson Road, that will be pumped all the way over to this new site. Once this water is treated to the highest level, it's being pumped uh, to the north to where the majority of our reuse customers are up in the Silverleaf area. A design-build services contract for the State Road 207 Water Reclamation Facility was awarded to Jacobs Project Management Services, and a transfer of $5 million from reserves was approved for the project. The total cost is not to exceed $191,820,000. The Water Reclamation Facility project is expected to be completed in June of 2026. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. During a recent traffic stop, a deputy from the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office was injured by a passing vehicle, Lieutenant George Harrigan. A St. Johns County deputy was recently struck by a passing vehicle while conducting a traffic stop, which resulted in a broken hand. This could have been a tragic situation. We just remind the motoring public to please stay vigilant, avoid distractions, and just pay attention to those emergency service workers and others that may be on the side of the road. During this month, the Florida Department of Highway Safety is conducting a safety campaign to highlight the importance of the move over law. Lieutenant Harrigan provides clarification on the law. Florida law requires motorists to move over one lane if possible and safe to do so for certain stopped vehicles displaying visual emergency, warning, or hazard lights on roadways. This includes law enforcement vehicles, other emergency vehicles, sanitation vehicles, utility vehicles, wreckers, maintenance or construction vehicles, disabled vehicles, and stopped vehicles with one or more persons visibly present. Every state in the U.S. has enacted move over laws, with Florida implementing its move over law in 2002. In the past year, St. John's County Parks and Recreation, along with the county commissioners, has invested $1.4 million into upgrades and major improvements within our park system, primarily in the playgrounds. Parks and Rec Director Ryan Kane tells us the improvements include both new playgrounds and refurbishments. We have a new playground construction at Cornerstone Park up in the Ponte Vedra Beach region by Micro's Beach. A complete overhaul of the Collier Blocker Perrier playground at the park in West Augustine. Additionally, we've had improvements to the Field of Dreams play structure in Aberdeen Park. And Volano Beach Oceanfront Park is getting an overhaul as a whole and getting playground replacement there as well. Kane says they're taking care of parents too. Something that we've been trying to do countywide is add shade to some of our playgrounds that haven't had shade there. And we did this past year at the W.E. Harris uh, Center out in Hastings, Daly on Shores Park in Ponte Vedra, and Windswept Acres here on Anastasia Island. Residents will see those park improvements coming throughout the year. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.